What's up today, my fellow man soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys what you guys should be doing right now in order for you guys to make tons of coins by doing certain things, stacking up your coins to make sure that you do have coins to get the best players whenever you want them, whether you need them or whether you just want them, you gotta make sure that you have coins. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I do in order to keep millions of coins. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So the first thing I want to do is go to my lineup. It's very important for, for you guys to see what I've been doing. Once again, I got 2.5 million, 2, 2 million coins, very close to 2.6, which I'll probably be at to, to uh, at today. Matter of fact, I'm probably going to be at, um, at a little over 2.6 million at the end of this video because I'm going to quick sell certain things at the end. So stay tuned with that. So definitely at the end of the video, I will be at 2.6 million. I just totally forgot right now. So anyways... I cut up my team because I want to let you guys know that the, though no matter how many coins I got, I make sure that I play. I um, I make right decisions when it comes to spinning them. And if I don't need to spin them, I don't unless I need something. Or if I just even if I don't need something, I, if I just really want certain players or positions, then I go ahead and do it. You guys see at the top, I got five thousand tickets as well as two point five thousand training. Or sorry, twenty five hundred training. We'll say close to twenty six hundred training. And every card, every single card I have on my squad. Check them out. They're all B and D. Tim Tebow was free. You guys already know that. Heinz Ward, Christian McCaffrey, Jerry Judy. I pulled from a, I think it was an 80 plus pack. Same thing with my right tackle. Same thing with the center. It was like an 80 plus pack. All these cards were free. All every single card that you see on my squad was free, and they're all B and D. None of them, none of them are auctionable besides this punter which I had for a while already. I haven't even upgraded the punter and that's it. So here's the thing. The, the, the thing is you, once again, I'll just reiterate and go to uh, other little methods that I do is if you do not need to, need to upgrade your team, hold on to your coins. If you need a position, go ahead and buy it, but try not to overpay for a card. So let me go ahead and back out now. All right. So let's go to the auction house. So stay with me because there's there's several things that I'm going to show you guys and I'm going to quick certain things at the end to show you guys how much I make off certain things, simple things, weekly to get a lot. All right. Here we go here. I know you're like, where are you over here at the limited? There's one thing that I always re reiterate to you guys. If you are going to buy certain cards, like say for instance, 86 overall, if you find an 86 overall Bobby Wagner because they could do got a Redux and he's going for like 300k. I, you might as well come over here. You, matter of fact, you could probably buy, buy Bobby Wagner for cheaper if you continue to go through the filters and just wait till someone puts them up. But 404K is not bad. I would buy Bobby Wagner for 400K limited edition besides a, before I buy a 300K Redux player. Why? Because Bobby Wagner will always be quick sold for 350K. So that means that you'll be, you'll be only spending 50K for an 86 overall. You'll make those coins back just by having them on your squad, so therefore you won't take a loss. Some people look at it as, okay, well, I only take a 50, 50K coin loss um, if I do quick sell them later on. That's not even a loss. You guys gotta keep in mind, if you're gonna be using them to grind out solos, um, solo seasons, head to head, bunt champs or whatever else, you're gonna make those coins back plus more. So it's not even a loss. You're gonna gain all those coins back. The thing is you wanna minimize how long it takes for you to get those coins back or even pre prevent a loss if you possibly can. Now let's come over here to the 86s so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Cause some of these 86s, Reduxes are going for a lot or just Reduxes in general. So these Reduxes are not bad. I'm sorry, these 86s are not bad. But I'm more talking about Reduxes. So let me go ahead and go to Redux. So you see right here, 280, 295. I definitely wouldn't get these cards. I would rather buy their limited edition version of the card. Now let's see the one we have right now, which was Bobby Wagner. He's even here. Like even if he is, if we're going all the way down, he's going to be going for a lot more. So yeah, these Reduxes are going for way too much. I would rather just buy their limited editions and continue on with that. These are way too much for, for a Redux. Stay away from those. What it got to do with making coins is the fact that you won't take a loss. If anything, you're gonna gain coins by making sure you buy the right cards to add to your team. So you so you maintain your coins and you all always have coins when you need them. So that's why I'm showing you guys right here. And when it comes to the 84 to 85s, let me go ahead and show you guys this real quick and then I'm gonna go to a few other things in a minute. So the 84s are going for eight, um, 
<laughs> that's funny. 84s are going for 84K, 80K, 90K. That's usually what they're going for. I'm telling you guys right now, I would focus more. You see this, this 85s, and some of these 85s you could get for a lot cheaper. So I would wait until the market goes down, and then I would. I, I'm sorry, not the market go down. I would wait until someone puts up one of these players for cheap because right now you, you're just looking out okay these 85s are cool but once again i would rather buy an 85 overall than these 84s because you're going to buy some of these 85 overalls for a lot cheaper like i could go over here type in defensive tackle right now some of these prices um are a little bit balanced or some are a little bit more so what i would do if i were you guys i would just continue to like filter it out go like this push all until someone puts it up for cheaper because if they do you'll be able to get a better deal out of that. So just keep that in mind. And if you want to sell some back and make coins, you'll be able to snipe some of those players too. Now let's go over here to season two. This is very important because this is what this is what it's uh what I'm gonna show you guys in a minute, what I'm gonna be quick selling. So every single day, keep in mind you're gonna be making coins just by doing three daily objectives. And once you're done with these daily objectives, you're gonna get coins just from doing these. And then when you're done with those, on top of that, you're gonna get a coin quick sale as right as a strategy, a strategy card quick sale, which is gonna help you make tons of coins. All that together, you're gonna get a comp combined 75K to 100K coins a weekly just by doing your daily objectives, not, not even considering playing head to head or anything else, solo, solo season, anything else. Just by doing your daily objectives, you're gonna get make about 75K to 100K every week, which I'm gonna to go to my item binder right now in a minute, which I was telling you guys, and I'm gonna be quick selling a few of the, car the cards that I had um the quick sales that i have so you guys can see how much i made um this past week all right so that's one thing you want to do every day jump on at least for like 15 minutes to get that done of course you're going to be getting them for your field pass too as you guys see you're going to be getting coins as you're leveling up as well as packs that, that it's possible that you might pull a decent card and then you'll end up uh being able to sell those cards that you pull and make you guys some coins so now let's go over here go to my item binder real quick so i can show you guys how much I've made just off quick sales. Um, we no, no, don't put newest. I'm gonna go ascending. I gotta go to ascending like this in order to get to them. That's just how it is. All right, so where we at? Here we go. Nope. Okay, go down a little bit more. Here we go here. So I'm gonna quick sell all the stuff. These are just for my daily objectives. We'll see how much I made. All right. Anything else? No, so it seems like that's about it. That's about five to seven days, whatever the case may be. We see that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, so this isn't a week. This is exactly a week of coin quick sell. So let's see how much I got. Look at I got 35,000. I did not make that much this week, but still, though, it's still 35,000 coins. Still 35,000 coins just from doing my daily objectives. So I'm very happy with it. But there's other times you guys seen when I did these videos. When I actually made about 65, 75, and sometimes even 100K. This is my lowest week, but I'm okay with it. It's 35K for free, so definitely all right with that. But once again, though, I, I usually make 65, 75, or within 100K every single You're not always guaranteed because sometimes you're going to pull 10K coin quick sell. Sometimes you're going to pull uncommons. Right now in that, in, that, in that quick sells, I didn't have no uncommon cards. I usually have a few like three to four uncommon cards. I didn't pull no uncommon cards this week. So that's just what it is. So that just, it, was, it wasn't it was a good week when it came to that, but still 35K coins for free. I'm up at 2.6 uh, 2 million and I'm about to be 2.7 million probably by uh, within tomorrow or the next day. So I'm very happy with that. Continue to stack up my coins and just little things you guys could do like that. Oh, not only to make coins, but to maintain your coins and make sure you always have coins for the future. So if cards you need or cards you want later on, you have coins to buy them. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it right here. Please drop a like on the video. Till next time, I'm out.